Slater Proof Pick Time, your favorite play overall on tonight's Major League Baseball slate. Matt. I'm having a hard time narrowing this down because there are some spots, like there's a few of them I really like. Um, the Orioles, like I mentioned, I think the Diamondbacks as a stack against Waskar and Noah are just not going to get any attention whatsoever. Um, if I have to pick one though, I think it's Vlad Guerrero Jr. I didn't mention him as my favorite payup option, but um, Shane Boz is making his MLB debut for the Rays and the Blue Jays on the other side, I mean, maybe they just strike out a bunch against him. He is a really good prospect, but it's also his MLB debut, and this could go a lot of directions. And Vlad obviously is a great hitter, but because he costs 5,900 and there's a bunch of way cheaper first basemen, I think his ownership stays like 5% at most. It could even be well lower than that at 1% or 2%. So uh, assuming Vlad is contrarian, which I think he will be just based on the price tag and the existence of expensive pitchers that are going to make it hard to afford him, um, I think Vlad and all the Blue Jays could end up being my favorite stack. Eric, what uh, direction are you going to go in for your slate of proof pick? Well, Matt just mentioned my guy, but not necessarily in a positive light. And that's Shane Boz. Uh, I didn't pick him as my top pitcher under 8,000 because I think he's quite a big risk. I think Ranger Suarez is uh, most likely to be the highest producing player in that range. But if you want to get some upside for cheap Boz at just 6,900, uh, he's a great pitching prospect. He touches triple digits. Um, and he's been dominating the minors this season. 206 ERA, strikeout rate of 37.9% against just a 4.6% walk rate over 17 starts. Uh, this is what elite pitching prospects do in the upper minors. And these are the kind of guys who come up and have success right away. Uh, you might be worried about uh, workload for the Rays and we don't know exactly how long they intend for him to throw but he did throw five five and six innings in his last three starts in the minors so he certainly stretched out to go long enough to get a win uh, the reason why I would say that Suarez is much more likely to have a good game is because Boz is facing a very tough matchup against the Jays and against Robbie Ray on the other side making it tough to get a win uh, so there's quite a lot of downside here but that's about as much talent as you're going to get uh, for a pitcher this cheap. So if, as a flyer, I think he's a guy who's worth taking a shot on.